good morning YouTube. It's Sunday the 9th of January and uh, welcome to Crafty Catch Up episode 2. Um, so uh, I've got a bit of news. Um, my son who's um, had the baby recently on the, uh, well, daughter-in-law had the baby on the 29th of December they've they've got Covid so I haven't been able to go over and have any more cuddles we actually went to see them on the Tuesday last week no Tuesday this week and um, when we got home Wednesday the next day they texted and said that they um, she, she tested positive for Covid and my son was feeling really ill um, but they're on the men now um, me and my husband, we haven't, um, even though we were with them, we haven't come up um, positive or anything. So we're still negative and we feel fine. So um, it's just one of them things. But she's recovering fine. She wasn't that bad. It was more my son, but he's on the mend now. It was really like a nasty cold, head cold. So um, and baby and uh, the two year old are fine. So that's good. Right. So crafting. Well, I have finished the Crochet Society Box 28 scarf and I'll insert some pictures up here of it and um, I'll uh, show you. So here it is and it is lovely. So um, and you can see I've put the tassels on. I've done tassels that side and um, tassels this side and I'll insert a little video of me putting the tassels on um, I think it was the blue side but yes I'm really chuffed with that <music> So yes, I'm really pleased. It's gone really well and I'm loving it. But I just thought you've got to remember because there's a, a right way and a wrong way with the pattern. So I thought it would be nice to um, put something on it to um, show which is it. And there's this little flower that I've made in the past 
and I actually did a cushion for my mum and that's it here and I put these flowers on and um, so what I thought was with the leftovers of the wool for the scarf I would make a flower and I've got that much of each colour in fact there's a little less of the white so um, I decided to make a flower and this is what it is so far and that is finished and look at that I have just done the last stitch at the back there and I have that much left would you believe it talk about chicken I um I, th I, th I thought stuff it's not gonna it's gonna it's gonna run out I'll have to take a tassel off but no it lasted out the last two inches so that is a flower so I'm going to um tie that off so I haven't done it yet I don't know why I didn't do it so I suppose it's just to show you tie that off I'm going to thread in those and the plan is to put it on here just so I know which way round and I'm planning on doing a blue one I might actually I might put the grey one on there I'll see I'll have to see I don't know let me know what you think whether it should go on there or on there so the plan is with the blue that's left and the tiny bit of white I am going to make another one and um, I will do a video of it so you can see how it's made but yes I'm loving that so yes I've got to I'll have to see which side to do I don't know let me know and then the blue one will go on the opposite side but yes so uh, that's what I've been up to so yes so um, I'll come back later and uh, we'll see what I decided to do right I'm back it's Monday the 10th and um, I thought I'd get back to you about the scarf um, I decided that I might put one flower on I don't know um, I'll see what consensus is but I thought two flowers looked a bit weird so um, I managed to finish them and I have done a tutorial I'll put the card up there if you want to watch how I did them um, but yes I thought wouldn't it be nice if I could make a beanie and maybe put the flowers on there to match the scarf and um, obviously I thought it'd be nicest in the white so I've ordered another ball of wool off of um, eBay. I think it was £4 including postage. So, um, and that'll be enough. And I've been hunting the internet for a beanie sort of pattern that I can use. So, um, yeah, I found, found that one. I'm going to give it a go. I don't know if it will work. I might have to make adjustments. Um, and see what I can do but yes what I'm hoping is to make a beanie and put the flowers on or at least one of the flower on the beanie and one on the scarf um, and has it of a matching set so um, watch this space we'll see how that goes the other thing was um, I don't know if you remember but before Christmas I was making um, I'll put a picture up I was making a little um, heart shape embroidery cushion um to say congratulations to um, my son and his wife for when they had their baby and then they didn't have their baby and I didn't know the name of the baby because uh, they weren't going to say until um she was born um so but I knew the sex so I knew I could do it in pink um and um the baby didn't come until five days late 29th of December and I forgot all about it and I was having a tidy up in the in the lounge where I've got sort of I gradually st keep taking bits and pieces I'm doing in there and then it builds up and I was going through and I found it and I thought oh I've got to finish that so um yesterday I put the name on and I don't know if you can see I put the name and the date of birth and then um I put this little bit of uh Rick-a-rack is it round and um, I backed it with uh, I think this is a square out of a fat quarter from so Haley Jane box uh, but yeah with the hearts on but yes I did that so I've got to give that to them um, but yeah I'm well pleased with that so finished project that's good another finished project that can tick off my box so that's the scarf 
my book I mean that's my scarf and now this that I finished so that's good um and then of course um I added the socks and my god what a fail what a fail I sat there and I did them if I can find them I followed the pattern using um, a four mil hook and it come up like this and I put it on my foot and it's absolutely massive so I thought that's no good so and of course I'm doing it at the same time so that I and I had that much blue left when I did the other one up at the other end <laughs> anyway so I decided right I'll undo the other one and I did it in the three mil hook and it is slightly smaller but it's still too big. It just falls off my foot. It's it's absolutely. I certainly wouldn't be able to wear it in a shoe or anything. It'd be so uncomfortable. So I can't really go any smaller than the three mil because it's just too bulky for this. Um, this sort of yarn is just too bulky for a smaller hook. So I've given up on that. So it's not going to happen. My ball of uh, my bag of bits and pieces is going to have to find something else to use them for. It certainly won't be those socks. Well, not that pattern anyway. So, um, yes, rather disappointing. So, um, that was a fail. Um, what else did I want to talk to you about? Um, I put that in my book because I'm going to try and make a hat out of it. That could end up being another fail. Um, and then, um, yes. My son sent, because, uh, you know, my my son, my uh, daughter-in-law, my son who's had the baby, she caught COVID. So I haven't been able to see her this week. Um, so, but, um, and she wasn't that, that bad. He was the one who was ill. I think he, I, but he will constantly tested negative. So I reckon he was suffering from a case of man flu. But anyway, they're both feeling better now, but because they've got to wait till she gets to, um, negative tests so he sent over a load of pictures so i'll just put them up here and you can see um he's a bit of a photographer on the side he does do um social media and and photography um as part of his job and um yeah he took some lovely pictures as you can see she looks beautiful And there's also a picture at the end of my granddaughter, um, the older one, trying to muscle in on the pictures. And she's got such a pout on her. I think she was uh, craving a bit of attention. So that's a lovely picture too. OK, well, hopefully I'll come back um, in a, next time with um, something positive. You know, I might actually have a good make. Um, but at the moment... It was a fail with the socks, but I'm pleased with this and I'll be getting that over to them as soon as I can pop over and visit. So see you later. Right, morning. It's Wednesday the 12th and um, I'm just going to catch up with you. Uh, the news is my son, who's just had the baby, he's now got COVID. So <laughs> his wife's um, now negative. Um, he's he's positive. So um, not seeing much of this baby. She's hoping to um, pop round because she's had two negative tests. So she's hoping to pop round and let me have a cuddle of the baby either today or tomorrow. Um, but my son says he's, he doesn't feel that bad. He's just got a cold. So, you know, so hopefully it will pass and we can get back to seeing, seeing them regular, um, possibly at the weekend. I think Sunday is his, um, 10th day or seventh day, whatever. So, um, as long as he's had a few negative tests by then, we'll be all right. Um, other news is I was looking through my um, book after that sock fail and I thought I need to do something that will go well. So um, 
I was looking through and I noticed in my sewing um, part that apart from that, that I haven't finished, I also had Wilhelmina, Luna's friend, cut out but not um, sewn. So I decided to finish her off. Now I bought, um, I didn't buy the kit because I got the pattern in um, the book Luna Lapin's Friends. So, and the pattern's in there. So I decided just to get the felt, get some felt. And I chose um, this pink felt. And um, I had this sort of ditzy, ditzy fabric in my um, stash. So I used that and some buttons I had in my stash. And that's her, and that's her face. And um, I followed the pattern, though I think um, you, you're meant to machine in the ears and then you were meant to sew the head by hand. But I managed to machine it and that went really well. So I definitely recommend that. Um, but the rest of her, her body and her arms and her legs, apart from this bit here, I did all by hand. Um, I forgot to put the tail in. I was so annoyed with myself. I was so busy getting the legs in that I forgot to put the tail in, so I had to sew it onto the back by hand. Um, and I've just got to curl it a bit. Um, I, I thought I might do it with um, curling tongs. I'll see if that works. Otherwise, I'll thread in some thread and do it like they suggest in the book. Um, but yes, I'm really pleased with that. I was happy with the way the nose turned out. Everything turned out well. Um, yeah, so that really went together. So that um, was nice and positive because um, after that sock fail, so I was pleased. So I've just got to find us something to wear. I think I've got um, a night dress that I made for um, my Luna, which Luna isn't wearing because she's wearing the ballet outfit. There, she's wearing her the ballet outfit. So um, I might put... Um, this one in Luna's nightdress. In fact, we'll see if I can get it out from the case. So this is the case I got for. This is the case I got for. Um, I think it was a pound in the charity shop, something like that. I did um, mention it before, and uh, I've got Luna's stuff in there, and the, the um, quilts in there, but also um, other bits of clothing like a Christmas jumper. And stuff like that but that is the night dress so I can put I could put that on um, on her if it fits over her head it should do there we are so I just got to remember to do her tail but there we are Wilhelmina is in her night dress and Luna is in her ballet stuff. So yeah, so pleased with that. So that went well. Um, I'm gonna have to get on and do another character, I think, because uh, that was nice sewing that up in the evening as well. Right, so the other thing I wanted to talk to you about is, ah, my scarf. So, you know, I did the Crochet Society box 28, I think it was the scarf, and there's this lovely, boxy pattern and I wanted to make a hat so I ordered um, another ball of the white yarn and I got it from um, Oh So Crafty and I think it was just over four pounds including postage and um, that's it here and um, it is So it is King Cole Calypso and it's in the cream. Yeah, cream. So that's it. So um, I looked at, um, I wanted something that would match the scarf, but also um, something that I, to give me a guide. And I found this pattern. Though looking at the picture, it, it, it looks like it's been knitted, but it says it's a crochet pattern. So I started to do part of that, but 
Whereas they've got you doing this same design all the way through. Obviously, I wanted mine to match match the um, scarf. So I've done it differently. So what I've done is I've done I've done 12 rows of their pattern, which is that bit there. Then I've done a boxy sort of pattern, very similar to this, but it's not the same. If you can see, not quite the same. This one is trebles crossing over, whereas I've done this as half trebles crossing over. Um, and the second, the row had, it had um, doubles all along in between and I've done half trebles, normal half trebles and then I've done crossover half trebles. So, and then at the top here, um, I've just done double crochets because you're bringing it in so that that'll be the top of the hat. So supposedly that's the top of the hat and that'll go over like that. And then um, hopefully I'll put one or two of the flowers on it. I don't know yet. And that'll go like that. But I'm really pleased with that. So I was just messing about with that while um, watching telly with my husband. <laughs> So we watched a really good seri uh, series on Netflix called Paranoid, and it was really good. It was just um, it was just a crime drama set in Cheshire, I think it was, but uh, no, it was really good. Really enjoyed that. Um, so oh, and the other thing I want to talk to you, about, I went into Tesco's last night because my husband's got conjunctivitis. So and I've been telling him he won't go to the doctor because he said you can't get an appointment or anything. Um, so I said, well, just go to the chemist. And he said, no, no, they won't give you anything. Anyway, he works with um, a young lad whose mum's a doctor. And uh, he said, oh, he said, I had conjunctivitis. He said, I got this stuff. He said, um, I'll uh, speak to me mum. Anyway, text back and said, uh, mum says you can get it from any chemist over the counter, if you ask. <laughs> so what did we do? We went to Tesco's last night at half seven look, to ask over the counter. They didn't have any, so we then drove the other side of it, um, Ellsbury, our town where we live, and um, we went to Consult, a chemist called Consult, and they had some, they gave him some. So just like that, you know. It was that simple. He's only been had it for a week, suffering. Um, so, yeah, so um, that's what we did. But while we were in Tesco's, we picked up a few bits because obviously we'd gone in there and then we couldn't get it at the chemist. And as we were paying, I saw this gorgeous bag. Look at this. And it's uh, Emma Bridgewater. And it's got the bees. And if anyone likes bees, you know, I mean, I put them on, I embroidered on, them on my uh, granddaughter Sienna's little dress. And I did the um, Mandy Shaw sent us, I think it was Mandy Shaw. Was it Mandy Shaw? Yeah, Mandy Shaw, the, the red working, we had the bee um, embroidery and the hive. And that was, um, yeah, and I love that. And I thought it's £4.50. It's made out of, it's not material, it's sort of like a canvas sort of thing. Um, but yeah, it's uh, 
sturdy shopping bag. It was £4.50, but I loved it. I thought, that's really nice, even if you go on a picnic or something. Um, yeah, so I love that with the bees. Um, so I think that's it. I don't know um, how long. I think probably um, I'll call it a day now for this video this week. And because um, it's getting near the uh, 25, 30 minutes. And um, I'll see you again next week. I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching and um, see you again soon. Bye.